now the latest on August 24th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Two tropical storms are active today. Tropical Storm Evo in the Eastern Pacific and Tropical Storm Bailu in the Western Pacific about to strike Taiwan. Chantal remains a tropical depression out in the open Atlantic today. So far, 46 storms have formed around the world, and on day 85 of the Atlantic hurricane season, we have Chantal, 98L and 99L in various parts of the Atlantic. Evo is churning through the Eastern Pacific on day 102 of hurricane season here. Bailu is about to strike Taiwan, as I said earlier, and Invest 99W is also a feature in the Philippine Sea, and no systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time. So the main feature is Tropical Storm Bailu, winds of 65 miles per hour, pressure 986 millibars. We did an update on it a short while ago. Uh, the storm is expected to strike Taiwan fairly soon in the next 12 hours. It's 44 miles from Orchid Island, 21.6 north, 122.1 degrees east at the latest. There it is, moving through, uh, striking the southern tip of Taiwan. They're moving into China, not too far from uh, Shantou, most likely. And then it will move inland, and uh, depending on which model you go by, uh, there could be an indication that it moves back over the... Uh, eastern part of China and off towards Korea. Invest 98L is located just off the coast of Florida with winds of 30 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,013 millibars. It's 45 miles from Fort Lauderdale, 26.1 north, 79.4 degrees west. This system has a high chance of becoming a tropical cyclone in the next five days and will probably become a tropical storm in the Western Atlantic as it slowly moves away from the coast of the United States uh, and then move up towards the northeast and could still possibly deliver some uh, serious surf conditions and of course the models could change and take it a little bit further north towards the outer banks of North Carolina. Uh, this is looking back at Bailu again, the wind shear values there uh, remaining fairly low, 10 maybe heading towards 15 knots now, um, wind shear values still just about marginal, uh, uh, favourable I should say, but becoming more marginal over time. Uh, once it strikes Taiwan, it will probably lose its chance of becoming a typhoon, which could happen at any time. Uh, this is the North Atlantic though, uh, looking at the three features here on the screen, 99L also has a medium chance of development that could become a tropical cyclone as it heads towards the Lesser Antilles, uh, so we should be watching out for that one too. Chantal doesn't really have a future, 98L um, of course as we've pointed out there, delivering thunderstorms to Florida by the looks of things too, and another feature there over the uh, Gulf of Mexico which hasn't been designated. Tropical Storm Evo is the only feature in the Eastern Pacific as we look at this view here. Um, not too much of Evo itself. We'll take a look at a closer look at that shortly. The central area of the Pacific is looking rather quiet right now too. Uh, one or two tiny little flat ups further south. The Western Pacific has Invest 99W which is now getting rather close to Yap and Palau. Uh, significant thunderstorms associated with that one and Bailu and its large influence extending over a large part of Luzon in the Philippines on the southern side, the banding delivering significant amounts of rainfall. It will be rainfall that we're most worried about in Taiwan, 450 millimeters of rain possible there. The Australia South Pacific region is looking fairly quiet apart from that massive system there in the subtropical zone uh, and in the Indian Ocean a few thunderstorms flaring up inland along the Nepalese border, um, but elsewhere it's looking rather quiet in the Indian Ocean Basin, certainly of a tropical nature. Sea surface temperatures very warm along that corridor into the eastern Pacific, but further north along the same parallel as Hawaii, it's still marginal at best. Along the coast of Mexico though, there's a lot of joy to be had for storms there, and in the Gulf of Mexico too, temperatures 30 degrees plus, quite widespread. In the Atlantic itself, out of the open waters, it's looking fairly good too. That's why Chantal is still holding on as a tropical depression. And in the Indian Ocean, temperatures fairly warm here too, especially further east. The Western Pacific is warm across the board, as you can see, all the way up to Japan. And just about 
up to South Korea as well. 28 degrees Celsius generally. Tropical storm Bailu, looking at the close-up imagery here, you can see that blow up of convection in the last few frames. Uh, which is certainly getting some people to think that it could be about to reach typhoon status. We'll be looking out for an eye to pop out at some point. Whether it does have the time to do that in the last few hours before striking Taiwan remains to be seen, but maybe it does still have a little chance afterwards if it just clips the southern tip. Evo there is partially exposed with its circulation. That convection just might be about to let go. We'll wait and see what happens there in the next few hours as well. Uh, but it isn't looking particularly great. 65 miles an hour, that last update though. So maybe it still has a little bit more time. Invest 98L looking like this. Still yet to get its act together. But a few little flare-ups of thunderstorm activity over the Bahamas and over southwestern Florida. Um, yet to get itself organized with the circulation and whatnot, but it does have a bright future. So looking at everything right now, day 236 in the world, and we are so far up to 46 storms as of August 24th. The next name in the Atlantic is Dorian. In the Eastern Pacific, it will be Juliet. And in the Central Pacific, it's Akoni. In the Western Pacific, we're following Bailu with Podol. And in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list 8 is Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 there as well, and you can get in touch with us on any of those outlets. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.